Hi there, this is Lady Shell. I am here to introduce you to my new series. I'm calling it Fantasy Grounds Tips for Beginners. I've compiled 25 tips, each with its own description in the title, so that you can look through this playlist and pick and choose which ones interest you the most. Or you can just start at one and go through 25. They're all about three to five minutes long, so if you don't have a lot of time but you want to learn a little bit about Fantasy Grounds, these tips should be helpful. Note that if you're a long-time user of Fantasy Grounds, you may not find this as interesting because I'm aiming my tips to brand new users to give them a look at what Fantasy Grounds can do for their gaming. So sit back, relax, and hopefully you'll learn something new. Now today we are going to be talking about changing your dice color. And I am going to show you how to change your dice color. Up here at the top, you'll see uh, several icons and there is the final one on the top, which says colors. It looks like a palette and it has the um, colors that you can use to change. Now I also have an image because I want to show you what it looks like. I have to find where I put it. Oh, right here. What it looks like when you're on the table with a character. So this is when a character is on the table and Akiri has changed her color to this fuchsia color. And that is how it shows up in the graphic up here. And I just realized I didn't show you the one that had the, the graphic, the uh, circle around it. But I hope you can see it that uh, it shows that the color is fuchsia matching the color here, which if she had rolled dice, her dice will come out this color. Now, why do we change the color of our dice? Well, for one thing, it sh it um, when you have, say, four or five people or more on the table, they'll all have their portraits at the top, like in that picture that I just showed you. And so they'll be all be lined up here, and everyone will have to the right of their to to the right of their portrait will have a color that will match their dice. Because when you first start on the t table as a brand new, with a brand new character, your dice will be black with white lettering. Now, how do you change the color? So if you take this green color that I have right now and I add a little blue to it, it's gonna get a little more aqua and keep going, it gets darker and darker and maybe I want to make it more purpley, so I'm going to add some red. So we make it purpley. And you can just, you know, take a little of uh, each color and make it whatever color you want. And you can make the text a different color. Because as you see down here, my dice are now have white, white uh, numbers on them. And you can hardly see it against the light colored background. Whereas if I had a dark color, you could see it really well. So let's turn it back to the light colored background. Oh, also, if you choose the larger one, it makes a faster change than if you choose the smaller one. So we have light colored dice, we have white colored um, numbers, I keep wanting to say letters, and uh, to change it, see the T here, you change that and it will now make it black on the, on the uh, dice. And if you wanted to make it darker, you could do that or lighter, you could click on the white part. So that's how we change the color of our dice. Very simple. And I hope that you enjoyed this tip and that you will continue to watch the rest of my tips here. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And thank you for watching. Bye bye.